So in today's lesson, we're going to be multiplying fractions and mixed numbers. And just to help you remember the steps for multiplying fractions, don't ever forget the words to our little rap. Multiplying fractions, no big problem. Top times top over bottom times bottom. Multiplying fractions, no big problem. Top times top over bottom times bottom. So keep that in mind as we're solving our problems. And remember, when you multiply fractions, you do not have to get a common denominator. That only goes with addition and subtraction. So let's try some. And we're going to keep in mind, multiplying fractions, no big problem, top times top over bottom times bottom. So in our first example, we want to multiply 2 ninth times 4 eighths. Now before we can do top times top over bottom times bottom, we are going to look at our diagonals and see if they can be simplified. So we're going to look at 4 and 9. And if we look at 4 and 9, well 4 and 9, they can't be divided by anything other than 1. So that means 4 and 9 is already in its simplest form. Then we want to look at 2 and 8. Well, if we look at 2 and 8, we can see that 2 and 8 can both be divided by 2. So we're going to divide 2 by 2. 2 divided by 2 gives us 1. And then 8 divided by 2 gives us 4. And make sure to cross out the old numbers so that you don't multiply the wrong thing. So now that we've done our simplifying, now we can do top times top over bottom times bottom. So we're going to do 1 times 4, and that gives us 4. And then 9 times 4 gives us 36. Again, we want to check to make sure our answer is in its simplest form. If we look at 4 and 36, we can see, well, they can both actually be divided by 4. So we do need to simplify our answer one more time. So 4 divided by 4 and 36 divided by 4. Well, 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 36 divided by 4 is 9. So now our answer is in its simplest form, so our final answer is 1 9th. So let's do another one. So now we want to do 5 12 times 30. Now before we can multiply these, in order to multiply fractions, we need top times top over bottom times bottom. Well here this whole number has a top, but it doesn't have a bottom. We need it to have a bottom. So whenever you have a whole number, all you simply have to do is put the whole number over 1. And now we've got top times top over bottom times bottom. So let's see if we can simplify our diagonals before we, before we multiply. 5 and 1, they're already in its simplest form. But if we look at 12 and 30, 12 and 30 can both be divided by 6. So 12 divided by 6 is 2. And 30 divided by 6 is 5. Now we're going to do top times top over bottom times bottom. So we have 5 times 5, which is 25, over 2 times 1, which is 2. Now if we look at our answer, our answer is an improper fraction, and we do not leave our answers as improper fractions. So what do we have to do? Well, we've got to change it to a mixed number. How do you change an improper fraction to a mixed number? You divide. So we're going to put the numerator inside the house, so 25 will go inside, and we're going to put the denominator outside, so 2 will go outside. 2 goes into 2 one time, 1 times 2 is 2, subtract and you get 0, bring down the 5, start over. 2 goes into 5 2 times, 2 times 2 is 4, subtract and you get 1. So that means we have a remainder of 1, and we put that over the same denominator we started with, which is 2. So that means 25 over 2 equals 12 and 1 half. We need to check to see if our answer is in its simplest form, and it is. So our final answer is 12 and a half. So now you try, and as you're working through your problem, don't forget top times top over bottom times bottom. So make sure, so pause the video, do number one and number two on your own. When you have finished, unpause the video, come back, check your answers to see if yours match mine to see if you got it correct. Go ahead and pause now. Okay, great. Hopefully you've gone through, you've done number one and number two on your own, so now let's check to see how you did. 
So number one, we want to do 9 10 times 2 fifths. So before we multiply, we want to see if our diagonals can be simplified. I see that 9 and 5 is already in its simplest form, but 2 and 10 can both be divided by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now I can do top times top over bottom times bottom. So 9 times 1 is 9, and 5 times 5 is 25. I'm going to check to see if my answer is in its simplest form. It is, so my final answer is 9 over 25. And let's try number 2. We have 3 8 times 5. Well, we have this whole number, and before we can do anything, we want to put our whole number over 1, so hopefully you did that. And now, let's see if our diagonals can be simplified. 3 and 1 cannot be simplified, and 8 and 5 can't be simplified, so we're simply going to do top times top over bottom times bottom. Well, 3 times 5 is 15, and 8 times 1 is 8. But our answer is an improper fraction, so we're going to have to change that to a mixed number. So, numerator always goes inside the house, denominator goes outside, 8 goes into 15 one time, which is 8, 15 minus 8 is 7, nothing left to bring down, so my remainder is 7, and I put it over 8, so this equals 1 and 7 eighths. Checking to see if my answer is in its simplest form. It is, so my final answer is 1 and 7 eighths. Hopefully you got both of these correct. If you did, it's okay. Go ahead and move on to the next part of this video. If you didn't, I suggest you go back, look at some examples again, and then try it over. So now what we're going to do is let's do a word problem. I want you to try this word problem on your own. Make sure you're underlining the question, looking for your data, and of course, make sure you find that clue word. So at this time, go ahead, pause the video, try it on your own. When you're done, come on back, check it to see how you did. So great, hopefully you have finished this word problem all on your own, so let's see how you did. So first we're gonna read it. At the movies, you eat all but one third of a box of popcorn. Your friend eats two-thirds of what is left. What fraction of the popcorn does your friend eat? So we want to look at our question first, which is what fraction of the popcorn does your friend eat? Now we want to find our data. We want to see what do we know. Well, we know that you ate all but one-third of a box of popcorn. And we know that your friend eats two-thirds of what is left. And we need to find our clue word. And our clue word can be so easy to miss. But remember, anytime you're finding a fraction of something, of is your clue word. So here, because we want to know what fraction your friend eats, and we know the friend eats two thirds of what was left, then of is our clue word, which means we have to multiply. So we're going to multiply one third times two thirds. We're going to see if our diagonals can be simplified. I look at 1 and 3, but they're in their simplest form. I look at 2 and 3, and they are in its simplest form. So now we're going to simply do top times top, which is 2, over bottom times bottom, which is 9. I'm going to check to see if my answer is in its simplest form, and it is. So my final answer is 2 ninths. If you got 2 ninths for your answer, great. And if you found that really small clue word, excellent. So, hopefully you got all of these correct and now you're ready to move on to mixed numbers. 